Marine Commerce Terminal Track Extension, New Bedford, Massachusetts. The New Bedford Marine Commerce Terminal is a 29-acre facility that supports offshore wind projects, container traffic, and other bulk marine cargo. A proposed 3,750-foot rail extension to this site would establish new connections to the fishing industry and would take more trucks off the local roadways. The estimated project cost is $12 million. With the project being building a rail line through a historic urban setting in the 21st century means that there are several challenges. These challenges are bypassing historic structures as well as navigating a rail line down pre-existing city street right-of-ways. This resulted in several route options. One specific challenge is bypassing this tight curve in MacArthur Drive that is not suitable for train traffic. Following the proposed route starting on MacArthur Drive, One route option includes curving the track to the right around the hotel building because of the tight routing of the MacArthur Drive ahead. The other route option includes cutting straight through the former power plant property. The power plant property, now Foss Marine Terminal, includes several rail spurs, although they are buried. Continuing down the proposed street running section on MacArthur Drive, The power plant route option would join the road from the left. Historically, there was never a freight railroad track this far south into New Bedford. This is a completely new build line extension. Approaching the Marine Commerce Terminal Entrance. The track would enter the property through this gate. This view from the New Bedford Harbor Walk shows the water side of the Marine Terminal. Note the long bulkhead as well as several vessels docked here. Departing the terminal for the end of active track.
the power plant route would come in at right. The hotel route would continue straight, then curve to the right once around the hotel building. Re-entering the in-place trackage at Foss Marine Terminal at right. The hotel route would come in from the left. This stretch of road and railroad was replaced in 2014, but no trains have run on it since. Continuing along the in-place trackage passing the New Bedford State Pier, no revenue trains have ventured this far south since around 1976. Reaching the beginning of in-service track ahead, Maritime Terminal's crossing signal is visible in the distance. This clip shows a Mass Coastal Railroad train servicing the Maritime Terminal. 